Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 13-inch mid-2010 MacBook Pro. For this installation, we can either use a standard hard drive or an SSD. You'll notice that they have the same connectors, mounting holes, and size. For purposes of this video, we'll use the OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. We've already shut down, unplugged, and placed the MacBook Pro on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close up the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom, you'll find 10 Phillips screws. The three in the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. Then, you can remove the remaining screws, which are all the same length. Once all the screws have been removed, you can lift off the bottom cover. The hard drive is located here. Loosen these two screws, then lift the retaining bar free. Lift up on the plastic tab and pull the drive out of the case. Then, gently detach the SATA connector. We need to remove these four mounting pins so we can attach them to the new drive. Simply use your Torx T6 screwdriver to remove them. Finally, you can gently peel off the plastic tab and set the drive aside. Attach the four mounting screws you removed from your original drive to the corresponding holes on the new drive. Next, hold the drive so that the SATA connection is pointing up. Then, rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise and attach the plastic tab to this side. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Attach the SATA connector on the new drive to the ribbon cable from the MacBook Pro. Then, insert the two mounting pins nearest you into the MacBook Pro's case and lay the drive flat. Replace the retaining bar and tighten it into place. You may now replace the bottom cover. The three longest screws go into the top right three holes. The remaining seven screws are all the same size. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on. 